Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, this is part two of our color long for the month of September. Um, we are coloring a two page layout in this beautiful book by Hannah Carlson. This is Tales from the Forest Kingdom. We are working on this page. So last time we got the background done. So the sky, the, the grass, this house. Today we're gonna be working on some of the mushrooms around um, and I'm going to use some more ink tents today. Um, so the first thing that I wanna do is I just wanna do like these three bigger, well maybe not even that one, these two, let's just focus on these two. These two bigger mushrooms, I would like to do those in ink tents. And then if I need to, I can go back in with colored pencil and make adjustments. But just to get, because it's a large, such a large area, I just wanna get that part filled in. Um, and so I'm going to use a combination of sepia ink, Sicilian yellow, and probably some of this antique white. Um, and I'm gonna start on this one. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this very, very light layer of Sicilian yellow. And I'm just going to, I'm not gonna cover the whole thing, just in certain sections. Um, I want to kind of have like this splotchy almost kind of um, coverage. If that, I'm that doesn't make sense. I don't know that splotchy is the right word. <laughs> but like very, very lightly with this Sicilian yellow in different areas. Okay. Then I'm going to come in with the sepia ink and only where it's going to be darkest. So right along the edges, right under the top here. And again, this is like the lightest possible pressure that I could use um, under this where this leaf is because that's going to create a shadow in the corners down here. Very, very light pressure. I'm not gonna do this edge, but I am gonna get a little bit more under this. I do need to get a little bit in the corners here of the window. So because I don't have a nice light gray or like a warm gray really like I had this this gray for this house but it turns out a little bit colder than I wanted it to um, I'm gonna I'm combining this yellow and the sepia ink to try to make like a French gray sort of okay now I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna put the white in the areas where I want it to stay kind of whiter um, so that I don't like if I get into that area, it'll it'll tone it down a little bit so that it's not, it doesn't get dark. Okay, so we're gonna take this this Arteza water brush. I used this last time. It, I love it. It's it's an awesome, it's an awesome water brush so far. Um, and I'm gonna start in the white areas and push the color into the dark areas, just like I've done with every other. And you definitely want to have your towel handy. Um, the nice thing about ink tents is if you don't have the, quite the right color, you can combine colors to make the right color. Uh, you can do the same thing with watercolor pencils too. It's not just ink tents pencils that do this. But this way you get, you know, I can get this this nice French gray color that I'm going for. It's a little, it's a little browner than I was expecting, but it's still better than a, like a cold gray. Okay. All right, I'm liking that so far. Just have to remember to keep. I might have to turn my book a little bit. So that I can make sure to be able to push the water in the right direction. So yeah, so today I just really want to focus on getting the 
some, some of the mushroom stuff done. But for sure, these this big one with the water, just because it'll be so much faster than if I was going to try to use... Um, pencils to do this whole thing because I'm almost done with it already and it was I mean this has been super quick so have to go a little slower when you get into the finer areas down here but still okay Make sure that I got everything. I might add a little bit more of that Sicilian yellow into a couple places. Or I might not, I don't know. We'll have to see it, how it dries. Let's see how it dries first. Okay, yeah. I do like that. Okay, we're gonna let that guy dry. I am gonna work on this one with the same color scheme. So this guy down here. So again, I'm gonna use that Sicilian yellow very lightly. All the shadow areas, the sepia ink. Again, in the shadow areas. I think this whole undertone or this whole the underside of the sky is all gonna be in these colors too. So this will be a little darker back here, a little darker in this area where all these dotty things are. Okay, and then I'm gonna color with the white in the white areas, try to keep it a little white. All right, let's go back in with our water brush. Yeah, that Sicilian yellow just adds just this tiny little bit of cream to it so that it kind of looks more like a mushroom. I like that color scheme. I'm glad I glad I went with that one. Okay, I do have to turn my book here so I can keep the brown where it's supposed to be. Keep that darker back there. All right. Touch a couple places, there we go. Okay. So that's really good for just a quick base layer. And then, like I said, I can come in and do some, um, let's go ahead and do this guy over here too. I'm gonna do him the same way. Um, but I can come back in with my pencils and add more shading and stuff if I feel like it's necessary. Okay. This guy's gonna have a little bit more shading. than the other ones did. Get a little bit of color here. Okay, use my white. Hopefully it'll keep some of those white areas white. Let's do that there too, okay. Ooh, too much water. <laughs> too much. That's another reason you keep your towel handy. Okay, so again, I'm just starting in the lighter areas and pushing that water and color to the darker areas. Cleaning off my brush in between. Okay. 
almost done with this guy. All right. Yep, that, that looks cool. Okay, I am going to do the underside of this um, mushroom with the same colors that I was using on the rest of these. Right on the edge, okay. Okay. All right, that guy is done. All right, let, uh, let's do, we're gonna do some tops now. Okay, so I have several different um, color combos that I pulled from this inspiration sheet that I printed. So I really love this orange and red combo. I like the browns. It's like an orangey reddish brown and different browns there. And I like this golden yellow color one too. And I think my plan is to do um, this one that we just finished and these two in that golden yellowy color. Uh, all these little dotted ones will be just like this red and orange one. And then all these other little ones that are spread around will be, um, will have brown tops. And I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these guys yet. Those ones might be red. Probably, probably will be red. I forgot about those guys. Um, yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and do these three big ones for sure today. And then I'll show you probably what these other ones will look like. And then maybe that'll be homework for you guys to finish the rest of those. So I have colors pulled for the yellowy one up top. So I'm going to use Sicilian yellow, golden yellow, and I think the other one that I was gonna do, was it Willow? I think it was Willow. Yes, Willow. So these are the three colors I'm gonna use on this. Probably some white too, just to, just to make sure that I've got, um, I can reserve my colors. So I'm gonna start with this big guy and um, I think this is what I wanna do. Sorry, hang on, let me think just a second. Because my berries, <laughs> I think that my plan was for my berries to be like an orangish yellow. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to have that blend in too much. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I've got those four colors. I'm gonna get started on here. I think I'm going to start with the Sicilian yellow. I'm gonna do a light layer of that pretty much all over. And again, I'm holding the tip of my, or I'm holding the end of my pencil, not the tip. Holding the end of the pencil so that I don't put too much pressure too much color. And I'm wanting the tops of these water, these tops of these watercolors, tops of the mushrooms to look very watercolor like. So I'm wanting to have different sections where the color is darker, different sections where the color is lighter, similar to what we did in the background. So now I'm just adding the golden yellow in, in different places. Okay, and I'm gonna use the willow and that, play, that one I'm gonna use just in the darkest areas. Anywhere where shadows are gonna be, I'm gonna add that willow color in.
All right, and I'm gonna use this white in just a couple of areas. You won't really see it, it's just kind of more of a placeholder kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to go in, and that looks like a hot mess. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and activate it with my water brush, and we'll see how we do. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to these little guys down here. I'm gonna do the same thing, same color scheme. I'm gonna use a little bit less of this golden yellow because that was a little more yellow than I thought it was gonna be. But again, a light layer of the Sicilian yellow everywhere. This is the Sicilian yellow, yes. Light layer of the Sicilian yellow everywhere. Okay, and then we're gonna do some of this golden yellow here and here, right there. And then the brown. And then we've got a couple of places where I will definitely be coming back in with some um, pencils to do some shading, but this is just like, just the base layer kind of thing. All right, and then I am gonna do some white and a little bit of those areas, okay. All right, let's get these mushrooms colored in. I'm not sure how many parts this video is going to be. I feel like if I make them a little bit shorter, then it can be a longer series of videos. But I also don't want to make you guys wait like a couple of weeks to get all the, <laughs> all the coloring stuffs in. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping it'll only be a few. Four tops, I don't like to do more than four parts, but. All right, almost done with that one. Okay, well that one, I like the yellow. Now that it's drying, it is drying a little bit lighter, so I could probably go back in with maybe some of the brown, but I'm gonna let it dry completely before I start messing with it again. Um, we're gonna do uh, some of these little guys down here. So I have got uh, baked earth, willow, and a little bit of the sepia ink pulled for those. So I'm gonna start with the baked earth. And again, that's gonna be kind of a an all over light layer. And I think that's all of them, right? And then we've got the big guys up here, yeah, okay. Um, so now I'm gonna take this willow and add in a little bit here and there. Kind of where the dots are, where she's got the dots added in. And then I'm gonna take the sepia ink and that's gonna go underneath the mushroom to try to make it a little bit darker in there. Show that there's some good shadow. I might add just a little bit of color into 
where the dots are on the mushrooms too. Okay. So really quickly, we're gonna just activate all that. There's the little brown ones, and then I've got a couple of colors pulled for the reddish orange ones down here. So I've got cadmium orange, scarlet pink, golden yellow, um, and it's mostly going to be these two with just a tiny bit of this golden yellow added in. So I'm going to do the red at the top. And I'm just going straight over top of these because uh, over these bumps because I'm going to go back through with some Posca and add in those details back in. So it's going to be mostly red. These little mushrooms. Well, mostly whatever this is, scarlet pink. <laughs> it's a little bit different than red. Mostly scarlet pink. There's lots of little bugs hidden on here. I didn't realize there were so many right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the cadmium orange. Oops, stay in the lines, Erica. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna use this golden yellow just right at the edge. I forgot that one. Cadmium. A little bit of golden yellow. Okay. So I've got those colored in, and then I'm just going to activate those the same way with the um, water brush. I'm going to start in the lighter and go towards, or start in the, um, yes, the lighter colors and go towards the dark. Goodness. Can't talk today either. Okay. Here we go. So there's those guys. Now we have to figure out what to do with these. I think I'm going to save these ones and do those with some colored pencil. Um, the other thing that I do need to do, I need to color my frog eye. Um, and I think maybe these big flowers I will probably do with, yeah, with ink tents, just so we can get them done quicker. Okay, so let's see, what color do we want our frog to be? And again, this is just the first layer of all these colors, so I will probably end up going back through. Well, this one's dry. Let's do this now, because otherwise I will kind of overlook it. So we're gonna take the willow and the Sicilian yellow. Not, I'm not gonna use any more of the golden, I don't think. Let me try the Sicilian yellow first and see if I can get any, I don't know if that's gonna be dark enough. No, I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna use this willow. And that's gonna have to kind of be our, our fixer color. So this is basically just me going over anywhere where things look a little wonky, where shadows look weird or uh, it looks a little streaky, different things like that. And I'm just gonna take this willow color straight from the tip of the pencil and just kind of circle it around the page. I do like the way that this yellow or willow is kind of changing 
the tone a little bit. Also, sometimes when I don't have my towel handy, I will just use my hand. <laughs> I need to use my towel. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just want this whole thing filled in, I think, up here. You kind of have to be a little bit careful when you're getting around edges and things so you're not going all over the place. I might, I might actually come in and add some of that golden yellow too just because I want to make sure that this is still yellow and not brown. a little weird. I think that probably helped. Okay, yep, and then I'm going to add in a little bit of the golden yellow in a couple places. This also just kind of helps add to the overall watercolor kind of look. Um, to these mushrooms as well. Ooh, that's too dark. That looks good. I like the brown ones in the background. I don't think I'm going to add anything to those, but I might redo a little bit on this, add a little bit more of this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a darker red, actually. I'm going to add a little bit of, let's see here. I want some nice red. So let's do some of the chili red. We're just going to add that right to the top of, yeah, I think that'll be good. Nice bright red. I think that looks good. Got a little dark there. <laughs> Last little guy. Okay. All right. All right, how does that look? Does that look all right? I think so. Okay, so the berries. They are touching every color that I've already put on here, I think. My original plan was to make them, um, because there's this, I've got this little, I don't know if you can see here, there's, there's red berries, orange berries, and yellow berries, and I really liked these golden yellow color berries. However, if I have these big three mushrooms, maybe I could make them more yellow, less brown. That might work. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So we're going to do golden yellow, we're going to do cadmium, yep, golden yellow, cadmium yellow, and Sicilian yellow. Let's see if I can get all three of them on one berry. So I'm going to do these little berries up here and kind of see, oh, I should probably do these ones on the mushroom <laughs> and see how that goes. I am going to start with the Sicilian yellow, and I'm just going to do that over the whole berry. 
And then I'm gonna take this cadmium yellow and go, um, so when you have berries, you always do have that a white highlight area. And so put your darker colors kind of away from that where you think that that highlight area would be. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna start here and go out towards This actually might be better done with pencils. I don't know yet. All right, so you can see a little bit of variation in the berries from where the darker colors are to where the lighter colors are, but I don't know that it's enough. So, might have to add in instead of the gold and yellow maybe try that sienna gold and see if that'll be any better i don't know really that's the only area that i have to worry about so if that's the only part that it's a little wonky okay um this time i'm going to start with the sienna gold actually and color that in the darker areas where i think it would be darker on these berries. And then we're gonna use, yep, and then cadmium yellow right over top of that. And then the Sicilian yellow. Ooh, that was dark. I didn't mean to color that dark with that. Maybe we'll try the white instead of the, let's try the white in the center here. See how that does. All right, let's see. So start in the white, go into the darker colors. It is very, very <laughs> wet brush. It looks pretty good though. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. So that'll be our color scheme for the berries. Again, let me go over that with you. It was uh, sienna gold, cadmium yellow, Sicilian yellow, and a little bit of white. So I'm gonna go through and do the berries really quick, and I think that might be it for today. Maybe, maybe the big flowers. Yeah, so let me do, let me get these berries done, and then <laughs> we'll see where, where we are on time. Okay, here I go. So sorry, my uh, camera turned off there for a second. So I, I've got all of these um, colored in. I'm just going to activate them now with the water. So there are the berries. And again, I will probably do a little bit of shading when we get back to that point with pencils, but for now, it's good. We're gonna do Mr. Froggy here. Again, just give him a base coat, and I am looking at this felt green or maybe this spring green color. I'm trying to stay within these two greens. I think I'm gonna go with the spring green and for shading, maybe a little bit of that light olive and see if maybe that would be a good shade color for it. Okay, so Mr. Froggy, 
Let's get him done really quick. I'm just gonna color him in um, with these two colors. I'm gonna try to avoid those spots the best I can because I think I'm gonna make those, well, maybe I'll make those black. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'm gonna color him in with the spring green and then shade him with the light olive. We got Mr. Froggy done now. Um, what else we got? We got flowers, we got leaves. We got these little mushrooms, which I said I was gonna do with pencils, and these flowers probably will be pencils. Oh, I have one little tiny mushroom down there that I forgot. <laughs> got the scarlet pink. And then I had the cadmium orange. A little bit of this is hanging yellow down at the bottom. And then I did have the cherry chili. Chili. At the top. Okay. So I'm going to do that one really quick. Gosh, too much water. So yeah, so we have these big flowers. I am kind of wanting to stay in this, these, this color range. Like I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go like bright red or really like purpley colors. I really wanna stay with the reds and the oranges and the yellows. So, but I also have like this cinnamon kind of color. That might be kind of pretty. I don't know how I would make that cinnamon color with, I have this mid vermilion color and I could mix it with the crimson. Let's do that. I'm doing that. All right, so I have mid vermilion and crimson. We're gonna try something here and see if it works. Because I don't want it to be too pink. I might actually use some of that Sicilian yellow too. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start with the crimson at the base of the flower. And then I'll do the mid vermilion. I am gonna do the crimson kind of out into that mid vermilion a little bit. And yep. This is the mid vermilion back over the crimson too. And then at the very tips, just a little Sicilian yellow. Let's see how we did. That's the nice thing about these ink tens is, you know, you just, just play, have fun, see if you like what you made. And then you can layer more on top if it's not a color that you really like. But that is a good color. I like it, it's not, it's not overly red. It's not overly orange. I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice light. Yep, I like that. I might even add a little bit more of the crimson in just to make it a little bit more like that cinnamon color. I think that's a good combo for the flowers. Yeah, let's do one more like that. And then I think the homework for you guys will be to do the rest of the flowers. So again, I've got crimson, mid vermilion, and um, 
Sicilian yellow. So I'm going to do the crimson first. I'm going to do a little darker at the base and then lighter as I move outwards. And I'm going to do the mid vermilion again, darker at the base. And then lighter as you move to the top. And then that Sicilian yellow right at the tip. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Boy, my, this is getting a lot of water in it now. I think it'll be okay. Still looks good. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with that color scheme for all the flowers. And that will be your guys' homework. Let's see, did we get that all in? Okay. Yeah, I like those. I like that color. It's similar to the red and orange flower or mushrooms down at the bottom, but it's not the exact same shade, but it, it's enough that it kind of brings that color up. So you've got that color on the top and on the bottom. I think that looks nice. Okay. So what did we do today? We did mushroom tops. We did berries and we started the flowers, but I'm going to have you guys go ahead and finish those flowers uh, on your own. I'll go over the color scheme one more time just so that you have that fresh in your head. We have crimson, mid vermilion, sienna gold, nope, not sienna gold, <laughs> and Sicilian yellow. Crimson, mid vermilion, Sicilian yellow for the flowers. Um, and there's only a few more, so I'm just going to do these flowers around the outside edges. Uh, and then when we come back, we'll do, we'll start working on some of this stuff down here. So, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I've been having fun with these ink tents in this book. This paper is awesome quality for this. And um, yeah, I'm excited to have to have some pages done in here. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All of the colors for everything will be in the description box. Uh, and if you are coloring along with me, please let me know. Send me a message on Instagram, tag me on Instagram, send me an email, any of those things will work. Uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.